Hey guys, in this quick video, we are going to talk about cloud migration. What exactly you need to know when you are considering any migration to the cloud. So the thing is, when we are talking about the cloud migration, it's always um, considered like we are planning to migrate our on-prem application or services to the cloud provider. So before that, diving into that, let's understand what we covered in the last video. We have covered about cloud computing so you i have shared the link in the description box so you can go through we have talked about what type of cloud provider we are having what are the service model we are having what are the deployment model we are having what are the benefits that's why we are moving to the cloud and what are the characteristics of the cloud provider so we can consider that our cloud our on-prem environment is um, having the similar features or not so these are the things which we discussed now we will talk about cloud migration so as i mentioned when we are talking about the cloud migration we always take care the things that we are planning to migrate application and services from on-prem environment to the cloud uh, the first thing why we need to migrate to the cloud there are so many cases through which uh, for which we are considering cloud migration so these cases can be like if we want to scale our business for example right now we are uh, having only thousands of users but uh, we are expecting that next one month uh, there can be 10,000 users that means that we want to increase the resources that is very easy in cloud so that's why uh, this this can be one of the factor next improving agility and the flexibility so the thing is cloud providers agility and flexibility flexibility that means whenever we need it we can make the changes up and down based on requirement that's why we are moving to the cloud next thing when we are moving to the cloud we can save the cost that means whenever we are considering any upgrade or building any solution here in the cloud or everything considered as a capex that means capital expenditure that we need to pay in advance but when we are talking about the cloud it's always like opex so we just need to pay what we are going to use and we can quickly build the solution within minutes once we know what resources we need to create it next thing it enhance collaboration for example if we are running our application and services that we mainly access either from the office or we need to connect through the vpn uh, there are certain things which we can be exposed over the internet but when we are moving to the cloud we have the flexibility that everything can be managed from the internet so that means if you have the internet and the browser then you can access it from globally regardless of your location next to feature which we consider for cloud migration improve disaster recovery when we are talking about the dr in our on prem environment we have we need to build this same replica of infrastructure there uh, that means we need a physical location we need data center we need additional servers we need to host services then we need a redundant people as well to manage from that particular location but when we are talking about disaster uh, dear sites in cloud it's uh, we can manage through the same people because it is accessible from the anywhere and the here we no need to purchase or look for any location we just need to provide um, we need to configure what type of redundancy you want you want at zone level or you want for regional so that thing we can configure it and it's a built in minutes now the thing is instead of uh, even we are having so many benefits so why um, what are the challenges we are having that's why still the organization is reluctant to move to the cloud so these can be related to the finance that means we are not um, sure what cost we need to pay that's why organizations are a little bit reluctant there they are considering there are some issues related to security and compliance because our business is dependent on this highly so as this is true that when we are moving to the cloud we lose the control but they are having the good team of security that manage everything but if you are still not sure you can go with the hybrid model where you can keep your data in your environment and you can go with the application and services migration to the cloud so this way 
you have full control on your data you just need to make sure how it is flowing between the cloud and your organization next next challenge can be uh, lack of expertise in your organization for that one you just need to hire the right people for the right work then this challenge can be overcome next challenge can be related to the organizational that means you, the application or services you are running for your business they can have some vendor locking so that can be a big challenge here but you need to make sure how you can overcome this either you need to re-architect your application or something with the help of expert it can be overcome but this is the big challenge right now uh, apart from this we can have additional factors that uh, can be take as a challenge like data dependency third party dependency or cloud adoption strategy if you are not sure now we have talked about why we need to migrate migration challenges but to what are the things with, through which we can save the cost as you know why we are migrating to the cloud either we want to save some cost or we want higher performance or you want to scale our business so for saving cost we are having certain strategies that can be followed to reduce the cost when we are migrating to the cloud first thing you always whenever you migrate to the cloud go, always go with the right sizing because the thing is uh, you no need to go with the higher size in advance because here we have the flexibility and you can increase or decrease resources as and when needed that means it just takes few minutes to change the configuration next thing whenever it is possible always go with the reserve instance or a spot instance because pay as you go that is seems very good but it is bit costly for from all cloud provider but uh, if you are sure about your configuration and duration of your services how long you want to use then you can go go with the commitment of one year or three year for that you will get higher discount next thing you can go with the data transfer optimization so you can store frequently access data in region that is closer to your end user and you can keep other data to the location where you have the less cost next you can go with the storage optimization that means whenever you don't need that data you can use the archive tier for the backup purpose and also you can implement uh, data life cycle management to transition your data to the less expensive tier so we are having hot cold archive tier so you can uh, move your data here to there based on your requirement next thing if you want to save more cost you can go with the serverless computing wherever possible so you that means serverless computing is something where you no need to pay for the service which we, which is required to run your services or you can say to run your code so it's mainly based on the event driven workload so in azure we are having azure function and aws we are having aws lambda function so you can trigger it whenever you need to run it and you just need to pay for two things how many times you are running that particular function and uh, how long it is running so for the time it is running how many times you are executing just you need to pay for that but for other time you no need to pay anything for here next thing you can always go with the cost allocation tax that means you can tag the resources based on your department based on your project based on your environment so you can analyze that cost whenever you need it and you can uh, optimize the things uh, if you think that it is going beyond your expectation next thing next strategy always go with the regular monitoring and analysis so when you are mo moving to the cloud monitoring is very critical that help you to save cost that help you to resolve the issue at quick time we have talked about these things now let's talk about the migration strategy what are the phases comes when we are migrating to the cloud it's always start with the planning phase so before considering any migration you need to plan well and you need to assess your existing application and services and also understand if when you will move to the cloud it will work or not once you are sure about the planning and assessment then you can go with the choosing right platform either you can you can go with the azure you can go with the aws or gcp or other cloud provider uh, 
uh, it's depend on your services which is more compatible for you after this you can go with the design migration strategy there are different kind of strategy there are seven hour framework to choose which will fall under so you can choose the correct to migration strategy once you have decided the migration strategy then you need to initiate the migration of your workload your data your application to run smoothly in the cloud but it's always recommended to go with the small size of data and the service that has less impact first first you migrate it then test it and validate everything is working perfectly in the cloud so we are done with this one then only you go with the broad environment migration once you are done with the broad environment migration then you need to enable monitoring that is very very critical when you are migrating to the cloud that is the job you need to analyze the cost you need to analyze the performance you need to analyze the security everything you need to do it through the monitor then only you can decide it is working as per expect expectation or not so these are the few things that you need to consider when we are talking about cloud migration i hope you find this helpful and it will help you to take decision what to consider what not to consider if you find this video helpful then click on like button subscribe this channel for more tech learning resources and yes you can follow my twitter account for quick content related to the cloud devops cyber security and ai see you in next video